And this is the base where I ended up at Quan Loy. And some of the first pictures I took, that's a C-123. You notice it's got piston engines on it and little jets outboard. That's the only airplane I've ever seen in my life that's got aviation gas and jet fuel on the same airplane. No kidding. And then in the background over here, that's a Bronco. Very good airplane. We'll get into that later. Next. More. This is, like I say, the airfield there, or not my area of the airfield, but, and of course I'm a sucker for paint job. <laughs> Next. More of the same, just, you know, walking around, taking pictures. Next. This is a place where they could put whatever they wanted on the noses, like yours? Yeah, pretty much, as long as you didn't get too stupid, you know, and more of the, not quite as many of the little rules that you know that's stupid as long as you're doing your job you know and next and that's a caribou the army flew them for a long time and then the air force got jealous and said we want them they there's some division between army aviation and air force yeah. and all that but they, they were stupid. wonderful airplanes for short rough fields and stuff like that not a huge airplane but that sucker man they back that thing up against the end of the runway and wind them engines up and it, it, did, it didn't, but it seemed like them wheels would go over about three times and it'd be in the air. What do they carry? What's in it? Whatever. Cargo. Yeah, cargo and people. Keep everything. That's a sky crane yeah. hauling a dump truck, as you can huh. see. Next. More. Next. And this is in my area. This is the flight line where I, and this is one of our aircraft. See that square yellow on the side there? Mm -hmm. That means Bravo Troop. And you can see the things on the side of the, right there, are kills. Wow. Yeah. Next. <coughs> that's the Broncos mm -hmm. talking about. Those, that's the Air Force FAC, forward air controller. They go out there and they fly around the same general area where we flew around. We had their radio frequency. And if we needed fighters or bombs or something to come in there and do something, we'd call him. He'd call back to his headquarters, see what they could deliver and how soon and all that, you know. And those rocket pods underneath there are for marking targets. They're usually white phosphorus around, so they'll make a white smoke and all that. And the Chinooks in Vietnam was like a truck line. They was hauling us. You'd be out there working, you'd see a Chinook going this way with blivets hanging under it, another one going that way, the hunk of artillery, another one going this way with a truck or something hanging under it. They were the, the yeah. truck system, you know. That's an old... Is that what they call the Tweedy No, that's not a Tweedy Bird. It's coming up, but... Uh, I, can't I can't remember, remember the F whatever it, it is It's not now. a F-104. Thunder no. Chief. I'm wanting to say 102, but I don't know them things. It was getting to be a little long in the tooth, an older airplane. Probably saw And one of the reasons it something. used the older jets was the little, they were a little slower, and they could fly a little slower better. You didn't need all that speed and everything, just run around there dropping bombs. You wasn't doing dogfights and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. So Next. We got the pizza. You've seen all kinds of airplanes over there. That's C-46. Everybody's familiar with C-47, but that's yeah. a 46. There's one of them C-123s. So that's got two instead of four engines like the C-130 had? Yeah, it's got two piston engines, and you see that little pod hanging out board yeah. there? That's actually a small jet engine. Is it loud? Yeah, it's real loud when it takes off. They just use them little jets for Short takeoff. Tempo. And then once they get her up in the air and get her going, they shut those down. There's a Tweety Bird. The, those are used, oh, I think up until just a couple, three, four years ago for training birds for the Air Force initial jet training and stuff. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but see all them hard points sticking down off of the bottom of the wing? Mm -hmm. That little sucker, oh my God, it makes the most screaming it's got a pair of little tiny jet engines and most god awful screaming you can't stand to be around it but 
it can haul oh my god you can't believe the crap you can hang on that thing and it still flies so it was a great little drop junk on your head airplane <laughs> all right and obviously those deals there are revetments of park airplanes in see it's a kind of a quonset with a foot of concrete on top of it mm -hmm. okay <laughs> so clearly Kwan Loy wasn't just a helicopter base. No, but I don't think this, I think this picture was taken back uh, another place. This is not at Kwan This Loy. is not Kwan Loy. No. So and did Kwan Loy one primarily one. just have your helicopter unit? Yeah, and some s small airplanes, some uh, spotter airplanes and stuff with their bird dogs and things like that. Yeah. How many airplanes, I mean, how many helicopters were there? Oh, between all the units, it was probably 50 or 60. And this is still at Kwan Loy, just walking down the road. The PX is behind me, and I'd walk down here and around the corner to the right to my hooch. And see, he's obviously coming at the runway, and I just, you know, oh, there's a cool report. And that's the loach that's flying around down above the trees looking for stuff. And it's a huge 500 quick. One you, person in it? No, two. We'll get in, like I said, we'll get into that deeper yeah. in a bit. But it is so quick. It just almost make you sick. Avon I was, was flying. Avon was flying one of those when he got killed. The guy from Alabama, no. as I was with. And uh, John was a cobra pilot. Huh? There you go. Triple that jets. might. No, that would. I wouldn't have the picture, but that's a pair of F4s. Probably did what I was talking about I mean, before. I like the F18. Is an F4 a big jet like that? It's. F-4 F F is a little bit bigger airplane than an F-18 and it had two engines. Really? Cute. And it, it's, it's a bad, you know how a P-51 from World War II, a prop airplane, it's just a bad looking airplane, slick look. An F-4 is a bad looking airplane. 